Hey everybody, Michael Carter here from moneymike.com and what I have here is five ways okay, to boost sales on a regular basis. Now we know the heart of any business is through sales, right? You have to have people coming in the door, um, checking out your products and services and actually purchasing. Okay, so there are many things that you can do online and offline uh, to increase sales. Now, uh, you know, some things work, some don't, but these are five tried, tested, and true things that you can absolutely do to help increase sales uh, pretty much immediately. All right, so number one, okay, number one. Uh, these are in no particular order, by the way, but, you know, number one, um, establish an affiliate program, okay? Pretty much any business has, um, you know, an, a, some sort of affiliate program, okay? Any online business, offline businesses have them, um, but, you know, online business, an affiliate program. Now, just because you have an affiliate program, um, it doesn't mean that it's a sound program, okay? It doesn't mean there aren't holes in it and, and things that you can do better. So uh, what I would do, you know, there's, there's different tools in that that you can utilize for your business and, and it may be different for, for certain businesses. But, you know, you have to make it as easy as possible for affiliates to actually make sales, to actually help you. Okay, so you want to, um, you know, in order to stimulate this, you have to provide them with the proper tools. Okay, so that could be anywhere from, um, it could be banners, right? It could be banners, it could be uh, email templates or pre-made emails. Um, any kind of information, it could be brochures, anything that you yourself would use in your business to promote it. You want to give that to affiliates. Um, you know, basically, you're, they're you want to treat them like gold, okay? They are basically your sales team. So treat them as such. Uh, treat them well and make sure that the commissions you give them are, um, you know, enough that's going to actually keep them around, okay? So that, that's number one. Uh, number two, customer follow-up, okay? Number two, customer follow-up. This one is so important. Um, <laughs> if you're not following up with customers, um, on a regular basis and, and really immediately, okay? There, there's no reason why you should not um, be in touch with your customers almost right away. If they make a sale, um, you know, uh, an email, uh, if you have the chance to get a phone number, a phone call, whoa, that blows people away when they actually phone them, uh, actually get a phone call from someone. Uh, it's incredibly powerful. But, you know, if you don't have that, stick to uh, an, an email, uh, super powerful. Um, you have to show your customers that you care. Um, if, if, you, if you're not in contact with them on a regular basis, um, there could be uh, some negativity out there, okay? They be, could actually be posting some negative experience they have with you because your customer service sucks so bad. Okay, so make sure you're in contact with them. Um, you know, the last thing you need are negative reviews or people talking badly about you and your business. This is your brand. It is your responsibility to take care of your customers. Okay, so keep them happy um, and, and things will go well for you from there. And when people are happy, okay, they, they tell other people, okay, they're going to be like, man, I got such a great experience. The customer service was unbelievable. Uh, people love that and it keeps them happy and it keeps them bringing, uh, it keeps, you know, they'll, they'll come back for more. Um, so number three, okay, <laughs> man, this is something you got to use, okay? Use upsell techniques prior to actually checking out, okay? Um, you know, but before they check out, that is when they are primed and ready for you to boom, hit them with another offer. Or, you know, it could be, it doesn't have to be something crazy, but something that is along the lines of what they're purchasing now, but perhaps you can upsell them with something that's just a little bit better. Um, you know, very powerful. This can help you increase sales by almost 50% if you do this right. Um, you know, like I said, they're primed and ready to go. And it can be any, anything from an upgrade, it could be a discount on the product they're getting, um, or it could be, um, another product that is similar to that okay that they may they may need down the road but in yet uh, instead they can actually get it right now from you um, so again deep discounts uh, very powerful and also you know you don't have to you, you like you could actually increase prices and still have people coming through the door 
just because you actually have a discount. So you, you could discount a price, but still have it marked up. All right, so another very powerful thing to do. Okay, so number four is provide coupons and discounts. Okay, when you provide coupons and discounts, customers, it just, it gives them such a great feeling. It feels, you know, they feel like they're winning at the shopping game. Um, so you need to make it worthwhile for them. So you can provide coupons for them for products and services now that they can use right away. And also for, you know, future purchases, because uh, you want to keep them coming back um, as often as possible. Um, and also, here's a big one, okay? Make sure you're using all social media outlets, okay, to advertise. So we're talking about, uh, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, um, you know, even uh, LinkedIn, uh, Pinterest, Instagram, Periscope, I mean, use them all, okay? Uh, that's why they're there, they're social media. You wanna be able to share, um, you know, coupons and deep discounts. Okay, very, very powerful. Um, everybody loves to get a coupon or discount. Uh, people actually go out of their way. People will drive miles outside of what they normally would uh, just because of a discount. I mean, you see it everywhere. You see what happens when, when uh, gas prices drop. People will line up, go crazy um, because of a deal. So always, always provide coupons and discounts and make it worthwhile um, for your customers, all right? And number five, okay, this one is really important and so many people either don't do this or they mess it up, okay? Cross promote with joint venture partners, okay? This is so powerful. Um, no matter what business that you're in, you can cross promote. So, um, you know, and it can actually be a competitor. You can actually make a deal with a competitor to cross promote each other. Okay, you have to be careful doing that, but it's something you can do and it becomes a win-win for both parties. Um, you know, the uh, cr cross promotion is very powerful because, you know, you're, you're getting traffic that you normally would not, right? You create that relationship with a joint venture partner and it becomes such a win-win for both parties. Um, and this is a great way to expand your, you know, lead generation, uh, just overall sales, right? So excellent way. Um, so that's pretty much it. These are just five ways to boost sales on a regular basis. This is something that you can go and implement today. Now, what I would suggest to you, um, don't go crazy. You don't have to do all five at once, but pick one of these five, okay? Just one and, and go with it and, you know, do it well. Okay, take this information. If it's, uh, you know, if it's customer service, um, just make sure you're providing excellent customer service. Go over and above, okay? Be the best in the business for customer service for your niche. Um, or, you know, whatever. If it's uh, cross-promoting joint venture, go ahead and do that. No particular order, just take action. Pick one and run with it, all right? So that's about it. I'm Michael Carter from moneymike.com and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.